Have you ever looked at some of the built-in functionality of Home Assistant and wondered if you could get that on your dashboard as well, only to be disappointed when you find out that you can't? In this video, I'm taking a look at something I've been wanting to achieve in Home Assistant for a while now, and I think you're going to love it as well, especially if you're a fan of the Home Assistant Energy Dashboard. This is the second video in my 12 Days of Smart Home Christmas series, where I'll be sharing different smart home videos spread throughout December, covering everything from automations, integrations, new devices, and plenty more. Whether you've just installed Home Assistant or you've been using it for a while and you want to improve your dashboards, then this is the video for you. Hey everyone, my name's Simon and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek, a channel that's all about home assistant and smart home technology. So continuing my smart home Christmas series, and for this one, I'm looking at a new hacks component that I've stumbled across that does something I've wanted for a while now, and I really wanted to share it with you. I'm sure many home assistant users are very familiar with the built-in energy dashboard. You can set up your devices and have some impressive reporting information available at a glance. However, as good as it looks, I've not been able to put together my own dashboard with the information I want with the same look and feel. That is, until now. So while searching around the internet the other day, I stumbled across a repository for a new card called Energy Custom Graph by Thyraz, and it immediately caught my attention. The person behind this development has clearly done a lot of work in recreating the look and feel of the components used on the Energy Dashboard, allowing you to create similar looking charts with the same data as well as other sources of information. It uses the built-in eCharts instance that's shipped with Home Assistant, so you don't need an additional charting component to get these fantastic results, effectively giving you native styling with very little overall effort. There are a lot of features for this card, and best of all, it has a full-featured UI editor, making it so easy to set up and see what your chart is going to look like. On the repository, there are example screenshots of what is capable with the card, and I think it looks really impressive. With the example shown, you've got your energy usage, just like on the energy dashboard. Then you can use it for other things as well, so room temperature and humidity information, open window information, and the outdoor temperatures as well. Realistically, as long as your entities have the data, then you should be able to get the results into the graph. So to get this installed then, well, we just have to go into Hacks. Now, if you don't have Hacks installed, then I have a very recent video on the channel on this very subject. So I'll put a link to that in the description of this video if you need to refer to that. Now, in Hacks, if you try to search for this card, then you won't find it. And that's because we need to install this as a custom repository. So we click on the three dots in the top right corner and select Custom Repositories. Then we need to put in the URL of the repository, which you'll find in the description of this video. And finally, we set the type as dashboard and click on add. After that, we can then search for this as normal and click on the download button in the bottom right corner. Select the latest version and when that's done, we click on reload so that we're able to use it within Home Assistant. I'm going to navigate to one of my dashboards now, and this is my current work in progress energy dashboard, and I'm just going to add the energy custom graph card to this. So we'll click on add and search for energy, and as you can see, we have it available in the list. If we select that, we can now configure uh, the card itself. So starting off, we'll give it a title. I'm just going to have something that shows me my energy usage, um, so I'm going to set it to the last 30 days and I could change all the details of the card here as well, but I'm going to leave those for now and move on to the entity information. To get the actual data, you add this as your chart series along with a name, uh, select a chart type and then the data source. I'm going to start by selecting my entity and that will be my uh, smart meter that's recording my consumption. And as you can see, the chart instantly populates with the data I've requested. I could change further details of this series, but for now, 
I'm just creating a simple chart of my usage. So we'll leave that as is and save it. And as you can see, I've got a very nice energy dashboard looking chart complete with tool tips and further details on my dashboard, all done very easily and quickly. There's a lot of details and configuration information for this card on the repository page, including calculated series and solar forecast series. So it's definitely worth a good read through to get the very best out of this card. Next, I'm going to configure another card, and this time I'm going to use the data from my Drayton Weiser heating system. And for this one, I'm going to my heating dashboard and I'm going to pull out the data for my hallway. I'm setting up the card in a similar way, only this time I'm going to add two sets of data for this one. The first being the demand from the heating system, and I'm going to have that as a line chart and I'll use the mean value as well. The second set of data I'm going to use is the target temperature that was asked for by the system, and I'll set the same parameters as the chart before. And there you go, as simple as that. I now have a chart that keeps in with the same styling of Home Assistant and the energy dashboard that shows me how my smart heating system was performing during the day for my hallway. Of course, as mentioned earlier, I could use these with a lot more than what I've shown here, but what would you use it for? Let me know in the comments below. So that's the Energy Custom Graph by Thyraz. I think this is a fantastic card to add to your Home Assistant setup, and it's great to see something like this being created. I've put a link to the repository in the description of this video if you want to check it out. And if you end up using it, then don't forget to hit the star button to help the developer. So that wraps up this video. I've got some great videos lined up across the rest of December as part of my 12 days of Smart Home Christmas series. Next up, I'll be taking a look at Home Assistant add-on, so keep an eye out for that one. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help support the channel and hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss the next video in this series. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.